Hi everyone, in this video we're looking at safety and ethical considerations section of your report. And this is the reason why we do this is because, well, everyone is involved with safety. It's no, and it's not just one person's responsibility. And um, as you go in and you operate in the lab, it's actually really important for you to have that safety sense so that when you go and do more complex experiments in the future, that you are very aware of what is going on. So if you opened up your scaffold template, thing you'll have this section here so I've just copied it straight over to here so I don't have to kind of click through things what you're doing is you're identifying some of those risks so we've done those activities before in class where we go well, what could go wrong so that's what a risk is or a hazard so something the potential to cause injury or harm to others or um, yourself and so you would identify those here and then you would say what is the how are you going to manage it so that it doesn't become a problem so you know if you had um Let's see, uh, you have to have use scissors if you're cutting string for the balloon rocket. So um, scissors could ca cause cuts or um, injuries. So how would you manage that? So you would walk with the scissors, um, return them, keep them closed, um, keep them on the bench when not in use. Like we're not standing around with a pair of scissors in our hands, like, ah, you know, and all threatening each other with them. That's not cool. So you would identify that. So risk of injury or um, cutting or harming like someone else with your scissors by accident. How do we manage that risk? Ensure safe um, behavior in the lab. And also, um, what is it? Putting scissors down when not in use. So that's like one example of it. People with the ramps, they're quite heavy. So taking care. So risk is um, dropping the ramp on person and causing harm to themselves or damage to property and then how do we manage that taking care when i'm um, handling equipment and using two people if required to maneuver the ramp okay so that's what we're looking for so i've given you one for each kind of experiment what you need to do is list three more of realistic and relevant so you can't just be like oh be careful of water on the floor when we haven't really used water that's not realistic or relevant to the task like you know we're not looking at like the room could explode well, how? How is that realistic when actually dealing with the experiment that you have? Um, so that's what you need to be aware of. Um, and you need to be able to list the main risk and the issues that the experiment has given um, uh, and give them a detailed response. So if you are doing those two things and you go tick, tick, when you look at your safety list, you think you're going to be on track. So let's have a look at how this ties into your report like your criteria sheet so here we are specific i'm um, sorry research and planning the two or the the one that we're looking at and it's different tiers i'm just going to go back to that blue because that's what i was using in the other video so we're looking at these three points here inadequate management of risk so if you are being a bit silly and you don't fill this in properly or you don't consider these things realistic and relevant then you might get that tier. Management of risk and ethical environmental issues, like you've done that, you've gone, yep, I've got them, they work, but you haven't given them much thought. <coughs> Sorry. And then considered. So to consider something means that you have thought about the relevance to them and the realistic aspects of them and um, identified thought with them. So if you meet this bit here, it's going to help you get to this level here. Okay, so let's color code that. So if you feel like you tick, oh, don't do that. Let's go this color. So if you feel like you're going to tick this section, you're most likely going to get this tier here. Okay, one of the easiest things in your report to give, um, to construct and one of the um, really important things in your report as well okay that's your safety considerations good luck don't forget to pause rewind and re-watch if you need to thanks year seven